The 42 Hermetic Books, cited by Clement of Alexandria's Stromata, Book 6, Chapter 4. The Egyptians possess a philosophy of their own. This is clear from their sacred ceremonial rites. For first comes the singer, bearing some one of the symbols of music. For they say that this priest must learn two books of Hermes, the one of which contains the hymns of the gods, the second the regulations for the life of the king. After the singer comes the astrologer, with an orologium in his hand, and a phoenix, the symbols of astrology. He must have the astrological books of Hermes, which are four in number, always on his lips. Of these, one is about the order of the apparently fixed stars, and another about the conjunctions and variations of light of the sun and moon, and the last is about the stars' risings. Next in order comes the sacred scribe, with wings on his head, and a book and case in his hand, in which are writing ink and the reed with which they write. And he must be acquainted with what are called hieroglyphics, and know the books about cosmography and geography, the position of the sun and moon, and about the five planets, also the description of Egypt and the chart of the Nile, and the list of the objects of the priests and the places consecrated to them and about measures, and the things used in the sacred rites. Then the temple decorator follows the aforesaid, with the cubit of justice and the libation cup. He is acquainted with all books called pidutic, or educational, and moscosphatic, or sacrificial. There are also ten books which relate to the honor paid by them to their gods and containing the Egyptian worship. Books related to sacrifices, opening offerings, hymns, prayers, processions, festivals, and the like. And among them all is he, the prophet, who bears the water jug conspicuously in his arms. He who is followed by those who carry the bread for distribution. He, as governor of the temple, memorizes the ten books called hieratic or priestly, and they include books about the laws and the gods and the whole discipline of the priests. For the prophet is, among the Egyptians, also over the distribution of the temple's revenues. And so there are forty-two books of Hermes that are absolutely necessary, thirty-six of them which contain the whole philosophy of the Egyptians are memorized by the aforesaid people, and the other six memorized by the pastafori or shrine-bearers are medical works treating of the constitution of the body, of diseases, instruments, pharmaca, eyes, and women's issues. Such are the customs of the Egyptians, to speak briefly. End of the 42 Hermetic Books, cited by Clement of Alexandria's Stromata. If you would like to support more work such as this, please visit patreon.com slash themodernhermeticist. And above all, thank you for listening.